Well, I think we have two issues facing us, and one is more of a global issue, which is that last year we had more than a third of the legislature that was brand new. So they were new to the process, they were new to their parking spaces, new to their offices, and so we had sort of a training wheels year for them, um, and this year they're going to understand the process a lot better. So we've, we've made great strides as a business community, the Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce, in driving policies that support retention and expansion of businesses, recruiting new ones to come in and make big investments in the state, which have the effect of also growing our job space here in the state. Uh, we don't want to go backwards on that uh, as we move forward uh, because of those great gains that we've had. We are also looking, I think, at um, maintaining fairness and equity within the tax structure, making the system more compliance-based uh, so that we know with clarity what it is that's taxable and not taxable. And I think that those are like the big picture items. And I'd encourage people to go look at the policy guidelines that the Chamber publishes every year. They really spell out the long-term thinking that we have uh, as a Chamber and as a business community about where we want policy to go to make sure that we can continue to have uh, the phenomenal job growth that we've had in the Valley over for many years.